selling these things, you're going to be covered. But if you're a buyer, if you're coming into the system to try to help the government out, and believe me, the Treasury Secretary was very clear on that. He said, we need help. We need to attract private investors. We need to be as friendly and accommodating to them as possible. They're not going to be covered by these executive compensation limits. So that's one mm -hmm. inducement. The other inducement is the price structure. Very quickly, let's say it's a $100 loan. All you have to come in with as an investor is $6. The FDIC covers 84. The federal government matches your six. Six plus six is 12. 12, <laughs> 84. That gets us to 98. 90. There's some $2 missing in there in my example, Megan. I'll be with you on that in just a second. That's I what happens when you do these things missing. on the fly. Wow, this is the blind leading the blind. And downward we spiral. Exactly. Major, you get back to the White House, I'm getting back to my anchor set. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, buddy. See you, you guys. Know, when Hammer comes up with 96, which I think is the correct answer, yeah. all three of us are in trouble. I was going to say, I, th I, yeah. think we were four, I thought we were four short, but I'm not uh -huh. confident enough in my math to ever do it on air. <laughs> all right. In the meantime, Treasury works on savings in the banks when prominent Republican says that someone needs to worry about saving America. Senator Judd Gray getting a lot of attention over the weekend when he said the president's new budget threatens our country's future. Uh, listen here. The practical implications of this is bankruptcy for the United States. There's no other way around it. If we, if we maintain the proposals which are in this budget over the 10-year period that, are, that this budget covers, this country will go bankrupt. Well, strong words there. And today, Senator Bill Nelson's a Democrat out of Florida and a member of the Senate Budget Committee. And, sir, welcome back here to America's Newsroom. Good morning to you down there in Tallahassee. What, what do you think about the, the word from Senator Gregg, a, a respected man when it comes to all matters of the economy, about bankrupting the country? Well, I think we have to be careful. Uh, the fact is, if we load up too much debt, uh, you 